one of my favorite things about being here was the staff members and how I really got to connect with them on like a certain level. I wish I could take Lauren home with me. Lauren is like absolutely my favorite. Like she, she was so raw and emotional with me. Like if something happened to me and I let out my feelings to her and she really strongly felt that feeling, she would let herself feel those feelings in front of me. And I've never seen a counselor do that. She honestly helped me learn how to love myself and how to pull myself out of the, the deepest, darkest moments of my life. And I'm forever grateful for that. Also validating us and showing us that like, life is always going to be hard, but you always have to keep a positive outlook. And that that was something that, was, that really touched my heart was just, these people don't even know me. They don't even know my life. They don't even live around me. They're not my family, they're not my friends until I got here and then they started becoming my friends because they wanted to help us. It's not just that they, this is their job, but it's also because they wanted to help us. Cause I mean, they could be doing the bare minimum, but they were going full out for us. I think that I learned how to be assertive with my boundaries. And I think I learned how to love myself a lot more. Um, and I also learned what is healthy and what's not healthy for me. And I learned how, how to keep myself going on the, on a straightforward path and keeping myself in a good position and getting towards my future. I learned how to take a step back and really understand a situation before I go head into it and um, get aggressive and stuff like that. And what coping skills I learned here is like one of them is that it's okay to cry and it's okay to let your feelings out and that you need to do that because you can't bottle everything up but you still need to learn how to process it and you still need to you still need to, like you can cry and you can let your feelings out, but you don't, like that can't take over your life. For me, at the beginning, it started out with me doing it for my family, um, because I was mad at myself for letting them down. And then it got to the point where I started doing it for myself because I realized this is my life. So I think what I would give, like the advice I would give is do it for yourself and make yourself proud. Once you start working on yourself and once you start doing things that make you happy, then you start to become happy. I have not had a blow up with my mom since I got out and like that's something that I'm so proud of being able to say is because I can now go to my mom. Um, and that's also something that helped me was like, oh, now I have my parent, yeah, she's not at me right now, but I can always go talk to her. Um, and being able to have a shoulder to lean on, that's something that's just absolutely helpful.